Okay, so let's see. Let's get um, let's get speaker. Speaker's based. Take a look. Let's take a look. Faker would have FQ'd already. <laughs> All right, he heard me. It's fine. Looks at golems. Um, so all that he's doing there is just maybe seeing if it's been hit or dragged. Okay. Okay. All right. Could have cut the patience a little bit better. It doesn't really matter. Doesn't have anything to do in between camps. Just looks for abnormalities, maybe in trade patterns or whatever. No reason to actually trust your teammates over yourself. Um, like as a jungler, right? If, if you really know what's going on, you, you don't need to trust them. Um, they might be able to convey to you psychology pa like psych they might be able to convey to you psychology um that would be like monitoring the movements of the opponent over and over and over and over and then telling that their movement has suddenly changed which you know that that's information that's really hard even if you're consistently using f keys as a jungler okay so he goes for the red buff here and you can see i mean okay so renekton's moving past he f keys again a little unfortunate there a little unfortunate so what he's what he's saying to do right here, I think, is to teleport uh, for the Nar. I think he wants Nar to TP. He wants Nar to TP. Ooh, is it? oh oh, he was already on a ward. Oh no! Oh my lord! Oh goodness gracious! Well, Hooney can't lane. So this was obviously uh, this was you know this is terrible. So now what's gonna happen is Xin Zhao is gonna go like oops, sorry I can't get this. Xin Zhao is gonna go like this into. Probably this, right? Oh, Zinjo didn't go for the crab. Okay, so I can't actually see Silas, so it's um a little bit hard. Okay, so actually, oh, what the hell is Zin doing? Oh, Yasui's getting blasted. Okay, Kadian's level three. Now, what you should do here actually is Spika is you should try to leech for. Whoa, what is going on here? What is happening? What? What is a Kadian? If the chain lands, he's dead. If the chain lands, he's absolutely dead. And also, they had sword art behind. This is so weird. Oh, it's so weird. This is a mess. Oh, it's a mess. Okay. So, right here, he leeched level 4. And now, Callista has control, so it should be pretty easy. Yeah, Spika really wants to get this crab. Really wants to get the crab. Okay. And it makes perfect sense to do it. Okay, the smite, the smite, the smite's not necessary. The smite's not necessary. He doesn't have a hot date. Um... Yeah, I understand that it break it breaks the scuttle crab shield, but w with how much control he has already, he doesn't need to use the smite on the the crab. I mean, I, I guess ultimately it's not going to matter. He's not going to take any damage from Gromp. It, it's kind of a non-factor. It's kind of, yeah, it, it doesn't it doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter. Okay, so he should probably um he he might go for Raptors. I was going to say okay, he should just reset um because he already has item. So going for Raptors is a little bit weird because the clear speed on the Raptors is going to be slower than if you have the item, obviously. Um, but the thing that ends up happening is even if you get the Raptors, you have to factor in how much gold you have after the Raptor camp and does that change your buy? In this case, it doesn't at all. And then what's going to end up happening is that off the Raptor kill, his pathing is going to be relatively the same. Now here, when he goes into the Golems, he can look for top, but it depends on the lane state. It depends on the trades of Nar and Renekton. And if there's nothing feasible in top lane or if Renekton actually elects to push it into Nar, then Lee no longer has to go top. He can path into Raptors and then go back down. Um, so having that as an option without really compromising his reset, compromising um, anything like that, it's all pretty ideal for him. Okay, so now Renekton comes over, and this is this is this is why this pathing is pretty ideal, and why you don't just do the Raptors, um, because again, it, it doesn't it doesn't do anything for you. There would have to be reason uh, to justify it. Now, okay, Xin Zhao is here, and so Huni is oh not gonna die but wind becomes lightning and not going to find the kill isn't Zhao gonna come out of the fight wait what wait. what is Akkadian doing no but like just in general his CS everything I don't even like why is he even there okay so now, I really like what Spika's doing. He's just going to do this to this, and then he, what he can do, because the bot wave is about to push back out, is he could do golems. Oh, okay, he's going to actually just outright go for the red. Outright going for the red is a little bit weird, because if the enemy support moves and Akkadian just pass immediately to the red, you lose it. Okay, this just happened. Obviously, I can't speak uh, fast enough in time, um, so it kind of sucks, uh, you know. 
Um, but yeah, it, 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 this is a thing that you can encounter. Now, the only the only way that he can really go for the red hair is if Nautilus is able to move first through try, and if LeBlanc already has the wave in front of the turret. So what he's going to do now is he's going to do the Gromp first. Uh, and th this is really good. I don't know if he's actually going to give the blue over to the LeBlanc. I need to see the, the tab one more time. Um, it seems like there's an on the way for the LeBlanc, but it seems like Speak actually wants to go over the wall with his teammates here. So let let's take a look at what's going to happen. Control Ward should have been placed first before going over the wall. They could have known. Oh, that was a really good... That was really good. He doesn't have level 6. He smites to get level 6. That's pretty good. Not going to be able to get the kill, though. Acadian running in. Wind becomes lightning. Not going to actually be utilized. What the fudge is going on, dude? Oh, my lord. Okay, but uh, no. Nah, I mean, this whole fight is just terrible. Oh, my god. Speak is down bad now as well. Oh, my god. And triumph. Oh, my god. Wind becomes lightning. Missed. Oh, my god. Lost. Can't get the kill. Oh, my god. TSM completely divine blundered this one. Holy shit. The flash was actually there the entire time. Lost is playing not good. Not good. Down bad. Um, so now what Speak is going to do off the reset, he is level 6. The question becomes, do you need to give LeBlanc the uh, uh, the blue buff right now? And the answer is no. You do not need to give LeBlanc the blue buff right now because you look at the minion wave and it's a cannon. You need to let LeBlanc get the cannon before giving her the blue buff. So there's no sense of urgency, especially because LeBlanc is hovering at about 55-60% mana right now. Um, and then depending on if LeBlanc is about to level up or whatnot, um, you know, even more reason not to hand over the blue right now. He's going to come over and get the Scuttle Crab. He's going to get that out of the way. And now with the Scuttle Crab vision secured, he's going to return back to the vicinity of his own jungle. I'm not totally sure why Nautilus is here. It should be pretty impossible to get a kill in mid lane. Um, but again, we're thinking about it from Speaker's POV. Uh, this is actually a bad red, bu uh, red buff capture. He should actually capture the rates before the red buff for red buff extension because red does not actually make you seven. So it's not even like it increases clear time on the, the Raptors. Um, so yeah, this is actually just inefficient. This is inefficient. He's actually not going to finish the Raptors, and instead he's going to respond to an action that the opponents are doing. It's not in TSM's best interest to actually handshake this Rift Herald. It is not in their best interest to handshake the Rift Herald. It is not in their best... Okay, so they just wasted a metric fuck ton of time. Not only did they rotate their bot lane for literally fuck all reason to try to attempt to fight a Rift Herald fight when the enemy champions are fundamentally stronger, right? Because their base values are stronger. Pika should have done Raptor into red, into Golem, into reset, into Pathbot. And if he ended up doing that, it would have been two waves into the future. LeBlanc would have then needed the blue buff if she wanted to continue to sustain through the lane. Or, alternatively, LeBlanc recalls in synergy with Spika and then paths to the uh, the blue buff. But again, I, I, I would need uh, Power of Google's POV, I guess. Um, or, or I would need a uh, full picture, uh, maybe, to, to tell where exactly he's at. So he gets the golems, I, or he gets the wolves. I really like what he's doing. He's level 7. He's not wasting any other time with the other camps because they don't convert into anything meaningful. There's no reason to actually get uh, the camps down uh, in, in order to increase uh, respawn speed or anything. They're going to go over and they're going to get the, uh, the the ocean dragon right now. And then Speaker will fall back to his jungle and then get the camps. And this is fine. Now there's no neutrals um, up and on the map. So he's going to hand over the blue buff first. Yep. And then he'll go over and do the gromp. Yep, now he'll just queue to the Gromp. All right, this is really clean. Xin Zhao shows top lane. Okay, um, isn't, uh, I couldn't, uh, fuck my eye. I don't have my lenses in. Numbers are a little bit blurry. Okay, 45 CS. Uh, dude, Acadian's just sitting out of his mind this game. He's just really sitting out of his mind. So Speaker's now looking, uh, looking bot lane. Um, okay, Aphromoo, um, trying to clear a ward right now. Afro does have, okay, he's just gonna knock the Lee Sin back, so he's not gonna do the, the ground pound. Uh, first, uh, it doesn't really matter. Um, okay, uh, Trisha Barrage does come out. Speaker's not gonna go for the golems because it can just be tangled with with the Alistar and friends. Um, and so it seems like that that's why. Okay, the golems actually aren't even there. Um, so he's, he is wasting a bit of time. The, what he is doing is that if there is a ward inside of this brush or something like that, um, he's ultimately just making it so that the Ezreal and the Alistar back up off the wave. Now, it's obviously being reciprocated on the other side of the map because the Nar is also backed off of the wave. And the Herald actually raised the turret, which is really bad. Uh, you guys always hear me talk about um, Herald should not actually kill the turret this early on inside of the laning phase because what ends up happening is now Nar could, in theory, freeze um, at the top tier 2 and there's no major objective up, which means that there, there's no way to actually accelerate this game state now um, for the opposing team. So, yeah, we're going to start doing ping pong. You guys already know in chat. Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful. So he's trying to curve into Gore Drinker, and you can see Spika pinging on the way. So obviously doing something like this, this is uh, just very good. At this point in time, Flash comes out of Power of Evil, um, and the Ignite was not able to secure the kill. Huni's pushing back like he's trying to give birth up in top lane. Definitely not a good look. Renekton should take the wave that Huni took and then freeze it in front of his turret, in which case Spika would be compromised and be forced to do something like this. 
If Xin Zhao actually ends up on the left-hand side of the map and then you end up matching it, Speak is getting fucked because now you know that his right side camps have respawned, and then Xin Zhao, who matches it on the left, then curves down, ends up being more beneficial for Xin Zhao. Um, this is only, uh, again, if the Renekton is playing well, um, and uh, if, if Nar ends up uh, totally blundering. But again, I, I can't totally see the, the state of the wave. Um, so that kind of sucks. First hurt doesn't really matter. I mean, you, you, you have to you have to quantify what exactly it is that you're achieving, right? Um, this is a really big problem in like league uh, analytical content, broadcasting, and like uh, coaching and a bunch of other stuff, right? Uh, it's very different from like RTSs. You should actually have to quantify exactly what it is every single time that you're you're getting something. And I think if people d uh, dived deeper into these things, like minion exp. Uh, minion gold and all this other stuff like denials like right now Huni should be freezing but you know that he's boomerang of course he is see look we, did, we just took a glimpse of top lane and of course he's boomeranging you gotta shove of course you're gonna give a birth no doubt and speaker I mean he doesn't really have any option and this is why it feels bad to play fucking Lee Sin okay TSM drafted a donkey early game all in stupid fucking team composition that requires them to get ahead of their opponents. There's no late game insurance. There's no wave clear. They're all fucking zug zug. Smork fucking run at the opponent, press buttons, etc. And we're witnessing death. This is what death feels like, okay? We are witnessing a lease in pro view where all of his lanes are fucking losing. Now, you might be thinking, didn't Speaker say in TSM Legends that all of his laners can't lane? Well, yes, he did. So why the fuck are we opting into a jungle Lee Sin when the laners can't lane? Not totally sure. Probably just be playing a scaling game. Spika is gonna get the red buff. Now, obviously, if you're Dignitas now, you need to just be backing off, playing ultra conservatively. You don't try to look for any plays. You don't look for vision. You should be pulling waves. You should be freezing. Now, are they gonna do that? Absolutely fucking not. No, of course not. Now, one of the uh, one, one of the one of the interesting things that we can sort of note here is that TSM should still be disadvantaged at the second dragon. Um, so we'll, we'll see what ends up happening. Now, TSM does have the first dragon of the game, so having that does buy them a little bit of time, but again, their team composition falls off a cliff in the later stages. It really comes down to can power people get assassinations in the later stages of the game. Okay, it's Mountain Dragon. It's a very important Drake to fight. Spika actually should have been leeching EXP somewhere in order to get the level up onto 9. Uh, it would have been pretty valuable to have for this fight. He might get it off of one of the wards. Acadian goes in, looks for something. Chains on LeBlanc does root Acadian, but now LeBlanc going to be on cooldown, missing a lot of HP. Blue buff looking to be captured by the LeBlanc. They really want to give it over, but Silas and Lee Sin might, or Silas and Acadian uh, might look for something to go on here. It does look like an engage is coming out. Nar does not have Mega. Renekton goes in, gets the stun onto Nar. Nar is going to get the transform, I do believe. Gets the stun onto the Alistar. Speaker tries to go in, looks for the kick, gets the kick, and does knock up the Ezreal. Ezreal goes over the wall, Arcane Shift. That's not Crowny. Ends up getting a kill. TSM, we already mentioned that they are disadvantageous at the second dragon because of their champions. Base levels are completely fucked, and their champions suck without an advantage. Um, and they are uh, they are just gated at this stage of the game. You see LeBlanc is just sitting on recipe component items. Nar is a useless fucking champion. And Lee Sin is uh, three levels under where Elaine Lee Sin would be. So... Um, the power identity that I think a lot of people think that these champions have is obviously just not present, and uh, yeah, this is pretty bad. Okay, so Spika now, um, I think... Okay, so the reason to path uh, Wolf Gromp is because if Crab was coming up, it was Gray. Um, if Crab wasn't coming up, then what you would do is Gromp Wolf because of Raptor. Uh, but this is very bizarre. Why Why is he pathing Raptor? He should actually... Uh, he should have pathed uh, Wolf, and then he should have gone Scuttle, and then he should have gone Gromp. This is very bizarre. This is very, very bizarre. I, 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 I don't understand this at all. This is very bizarre. This is very bizarre. You, you have eyes on everyone. You have eyes on everyone. You know that they can't actually do anything. All of this vision right here, luxurious. Doesn't matter. Is Baron up? No. Can they actually do Baron right now? Fuck no. Why does this vision matter? Why do you just place the control ward? What are you doing? Why are we fucking over this? We need a red buff? Okay, well, you could have had Scuttle Crab and then look at Nar. He's having three waves down in bottom. Let's open up a calculator and determine who's getting more gold in EXP. But then also we've delayed the respawn on these. Okay, we're looking for a fight for some reason. We're looking for a fight. We're looking for a fight. We have we have standing camps. We have one, two, three standing camps. They have standing golems right now. They just lost out on minion waves in in uh, in, in bottom as well. So this is really bizarre. Um, you know. Okay, so he's gonna come over now. He's gonna end up getting the golems. He's obviously very stunted. I mean, it doesn't really matter because Acadian was sitting out of his mind early on. So it's not the end of the world. Um, with what's going on. Okay, um, so that was interesting. Uh, he does kick Acadian. Um, this is obviously very random, and now we're in a full-on retreat. They get the ultimate out of Lee Sin, they get the ultimate out of Callista, they also get uh, the Nautilus ultimate out. So, not the end of the world, but they are definitely losing out. They're gonna lose the jungle camps on the right-hand side. 
Scuttle Crab. Um, okay, 53 seconds until an Infernal Dragon. They are going to be behind at the Infernal Dragon because their champs are fucking dog shit. Um, Speak is just continuing to run around, and this is this is the first person view of most pro Lee Sin players, uh, and why I actually just despise the fucking champions because you require opponents to really, really fuck up in order for this champion to have any success. Acadian is here as well. No kick available onto Lee Sin. Knock up goes up onto Lee Sin. Acadian continuing the fight. Nautilus is here. Chains are going to be there, and what is going to happen is Lee Sin's going to lose his kick, and that is a lot of lost power. This should guarantee the dragon goes over to Dignitas. Dignitas might be able to actually edge this one out. Dig are in a fantastic position right now. They need to get the dragon. Nar just lost Mega, and you can see that Nar is farming up um, some of his Mega on the blue side camps right now. No Sterix gauge on Nar, no Sterix on the Lee Sin as well. Take a look at the enemy team, though. Sterix on the Renekton. He's very, very tanky because the Lee Sin's underleveled, the Lee Sin's jungle Lee Sin, and not a lot of champions are actually going to be doing damage to the Renekton. Callista also useless. Callista hasn't reset yet. Dragon's up. This just means free Infernal Dragon for the opponents. Okay, so now, what's the correct play for Dignitas? Pause the game. Pause the game. Can TSM do anything at this point in time? Can they do anything? No. You pull waves, you freeze. Can TSM do Baron? No. If they try to do Baron, are you going to fucking clap them? Yes. So what do we do? We pull waves, we don't fight. We just keep playing for dragons. That's all you have to do. If you're Dignitas, you do nothing. Because look at TSM's POV. They can't get vision. They can't start Baron. They can't look for picks. They can't look for fights because they're fucked. So the only thing that you do is you pull waves and freeze. Don't be starting the Baron. I swear to... Oh my God. Speaker, don't miss. Speaker, punish these fucking peasants. Oh my lord, dude. He needs to just... Dude, it's so... I'm narrating this from fucking TSM's POV! Someone on Reddit would tell me that I, I, I can just see the whole map, so I can't comment. Renekton, slay that fucking... That clown champion. Look at it. Great. Great. Good. Zero, three, zero. Excellent. Cool. Wait for Infernal. TSM can't do anything, man. Holy shit. There's nothing we can do! Look at our fucking POV! Holy shit! Oh my god! It's over, it's over. This game's doomed. So, Baron, uh, I can't, I, one of the things that Speaker should do is he should click on one of the enemy champions. Uh, I mean, he can also hit tab and I guess do the math. Or he could have looked at Baron when it was captured. I, what you can do is you can if you if you don't exactly have an idea of Baron, um, well yeah, you just you you hit tab and then you, you you do the math on it. But you see what I mean, right? Look look at look at look at what's happening with Baron. Look 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 at Baron. This is it, because your champions only have two core items. You can't actually perforate the base unless you have a designed uh, team. Well, you can maybe they can maybe get this. They can do this. They can do this. This is the third turret, right? So we said earlier they should get two to three turrets. Okay, so this is the this is the assumed third turret. Okay, this is fine. Or actually, this is the second turret. They get the oh, they get the inhibitor. The inhibitor is actually bad. That's good for TSM. This is very good for TSM. This is very very good for TSM that the inhibitor goes down. This is a guaranteed um, funnel of gold and exp now into TSM. This is good. So this is what I mean by Baron. Okay, you got some of the turrets. You actually harmed yourselves by getting an inhibitor. What do you really get at the end of it? Now, don't get me wrong. Baron's EXP is really good. The inhibitor is going to harm that EXP by a certain amount, but now we don't have soul point. So it's a little bit weird. Threatening soul point and putting the opponents into a damned if you do, damned if you don't situation, I think is way more valuable. Um, and when I say I think, I mean, I, I lean towards and I would I would bet on, um, and in the mass majority of cases, it is correct. I think in this situation, it was correct. Um, to, to, to opt for Infernal Dragon over Baron. Okay. Speaker's trying to run from the uh, Renektune. He's trying his best. Um, let's see what he's thinking on how to get out of here. Um, okay, he's trying to maybe run. Xin Zhao is here as well. He's almost made it, actually. Ooh. Ooh. Xin Zhao not taking a super wide arc. Okay. Speaker buying as much time as he possibly can. Gonna go for the kick, and that is uh, pretty much it. That's all that he can go for. Fortunately, he doesn't end up flashing. Um, however, Speaker is dead now for the Infernal. Okay, so the Infernal is gonna go down. And th this is sort of what I meant earlier. So re resurrect those turrets that Dig had, and you know, you could just have Infernal Soul. 
And then your acronym is DIG, not CLG. So you probably wouldn't have been able to win. Oh! Oh! Oh wait, if TSM outplay this, they get Infernal. Wow. Okay, dude, Digger playing, Digger, Digger, like, they're playing, they, I mean, they kind of played with fire, it's not gonna matter. They, they should just get Infernal. They should just get Infernal. This is the only way they can lose. By the way, this is, this is, ah, wait, ah, wait, ah, you know what, actually, no, I underestimated the size of that minion wave on top. That's a lot of supers. Uh, it doesn't matter. I mean, loss, loss got killed. Ah, uh, no, it doesn't matter. 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 I underestimated the size of the minion wave on top. I thought the top minion wave could be cleared and be a better stand LeBlanc comes up to stall for. I just made a mistake. In the calculation. That wasn't good. That sucks. Was very mannerful by everyone. Everyone just wrote GG. That sucks for speak up. Dude, it's so fucking stupid. Imagine, okay, I am so lucky. I am so fucking lucky that I am looking at Twitter on my second monitor. There is a fucking cock sandwich on my timeline right now.